Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting Elementor tutorial. My name is David from DevDen Web Dev, and in today's video, we'll be looking at a quick and easy method that we can use to create equal width columns in Elementor using CSS Flex and just a little bit of custom CSS. As you can see, when we come to the custom CSS, it is fully customizable. All you have to do is just change a CSS variable and it will change everything. So let's say on the desktop, you want it to be four columns per row. You see, automatically adjust. Then let's say for tablet, you want it to be maybe rather than three, you want it to be two to adjust or let's just leave it at three. Then for mobile, you want it to be the standard one or maybe this layout calls for two. So you can say two or leave it at one. So let me just leave it at two. You see, everything is fully adjustable by just changing some values here. You also have the opportunity to change the gap. So from 20, let's say you want it to be 40 pixels. Everything just adjusts automatically. So if this is something that interests you, then stick around and we'll get right into it. Before we go into the custom CSS, I would like to show you that there are other methods that we can use, but we'll see what are the limitations of those methods compared to this method. So the first one you can do is using CSS Grid, which is very powerful. If you want to use CSS Grid in Elementor, you have to go under Elementor, Settings and Features from your WP dashboard, and then activate both the Flex container and the Grid container. Then to give you access, to click on the plus icon, you see the grid layout. So now let's say I choose the grid layout and I just choose this three by two. So now let me just copy one of these, paste it in there. As you can see, if I duplicate, let me reduce it a bit. So set it to 800 pixels. So now you see, we get this three by two columns and we can easily adjust it from the parent container, the grid, and just change the columns so we want from three to four. And it's similar to how we get here. The only major advantage of using the flex over the grid is that watch what happens when we use the flex and want to change the layout. So let's say, let me go back to say we want three here. And then under the layout tab, if I want it to all be justified to the center, I can easily do that when I'm using CSS Flex. But with the CSS grid, you don't have that option because there is a justify content and justify items here. But if you try to do it, let's see, center, end, top, nothing changes. If you go with the align items as well, nothing changes because that's not how the grid works. The grid, you cannot just readjust the alignment of them individually per row, they all stick to the grid. So there's this grid. So it almost always follow this grid whereby it starts from the first one and it goes either in the row direction or the column direction, depending on how you set the auto flow. And then it must keep filling up the pockets there. You cannot just say you want one of them to go to like halfway and the other one, but with CSS flex, each row starts to have its own properties. So when you go here, each of the row is treated individually within the align items and justify content. So you go to your start, end, center, everything adjusts accordingly. So that's the benefit of using the flex over the CSS grid. The other option you can use is to create two different sections. So you can come here and then say, let's say you want for the first one to flex, choose the row, set it to be no wrap, then you can come in here, let's copy this, and then paste it here. So that's one, paste two, we get that same three, then we we'll duplicate it. And this time we say we want only two, so we'll delete. See where we get the same problem again, because now this one to become bigger, this one to be smaller, but now we want everything to be equal. So all of them are equal on each of the row. We don't get that with this one. 
you can also just use calculator and start to calculate that, okay, this is 100% divided by three, that will give you about 33% that you can now start coming to each of them and setting the width under the advanced tab, you set the width of each of them to 33%, but see, that's a long journey. Whereas we already have a custom CSS here that once you just input it, all you have to just do is change one CSS variable and everything just works out fine for you. The other problem with this method is that when you now start going to, let's say this mode, and then you want to say two at the top and three at the bottom, you cannot just drag and drop from one section to another. It wouldn't work. And then it breaks the entire layout. So that's why this method is quite easy for you if you want to adjust the alignment. But if you don't want to do that, then you might just as well go for the CSS grid because that's one is easier to achieve. So it all depends on what you want. So now let me delete this. And we'll create another one from scratch. But first, let's see the CSS. So here we have the custom CSS is divided into two portions. The first portion is the site-wide CSS. That one, you put it into where you have your general CSS, like your code snippets plugin, like I'm using here, WP Codebox, or you can use your child theme, which is the preferred method. Just put it there, or you can even go to your Elementor site settings, the custom CSS under there, and then paste this in because it rarely changes, so there's no need to be putting it per section. All you do is put it in one place, and then all you do is control this variable, which is the DD calls variable, just change that value and it will reflect in the calculation. We're using flex spaces because we want it to override the width value because flex spaces overrides the width. That's why I'm using flex spaces. So I already have it activated. So all we need is just this portion of the CSS. So the first thing we need to do is create a new section, choose the flex box and the row direction. Then we need to add in our child elements. As you can see from the top example, all I did was use image widgets. So you can use either widgets or containers. It doesn't matter. They will all work. So let me just duplicate some of these widgets and paste it in that container. So now we have our widgets in the container. So the next thing is to add in the required properties to the parent container. So go to the parent container. You can either choose boxed or full width, depending on your layout. It doesn't matter for the code. Then for the direction, choose the direction should be row and the wrap should be wrap. Then for the gap, you see var, let me, First, change the unit to the pencil icon. Say var, open the bracket, double hyphen, dd, grid, gap, and then close the bracket. Then under the advanced tab, give it a class name of dd, it's a flex box, double hyphen, want it to be equal. And finally, we're adding the section specific CSS. So, and that's it. So now we can start adjusting everything from here. So say two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. Everything adjusts accordingly. And yeah, that's how easy it is to create our equal width columns in Elementor. I'll leave a link to the code in the description so you can check it out. If you have a different method that you think is better, please, I'd like to hear them. Leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep designing and keep creating. Bye.